Congratulations, you now have more guns. We can equip four soldiers with those, so... Hopefully... We'll have four recruits to give guns, soon enough. Still got a bit of money left in the bank. You constructed a newspaper, excellent. Hello? Hmm. Normally I would be annoying uh, the Spanish still, but it's not really in our interests at this particular second. Let's get a warehouse expansion. Thanks. Alright. Guns out there. Thank you very much. And wagon train, you need to head back over this way. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. 41%. 9% to go. 9% to go. Come on. Alright. You've constructed an armory in New London. Let's build a fortress. We'll transport some, um... Oh, hey. Good job. Transport some... Uh, tools out to them. Now, I need to make a lot of soldiers. So, you are going to head over to here. You are going to head over to here. All of you gentlemen. Yeah. Are going to become soldiers. Congratulations. Oh, I can't do them all at once. Well, that's annoying. Two. Three. And four. Alright, I'm going to send two of you to Kingsport. And the other two to Point Silverton. Now you. You are going to load up on goods. But just sit here. For now. Just for now. We'll hopefully be able to get one more load of stuff back from um, back to Europe to sell before we declare independence, hopefully. I want to send a full ship. So you've constructed a newspaper in Jamestown. What would you like to construct next? Um, It's a good question, actually. Let's go with cannons. Now let's see if we can't get some cannons. You've constructed a fortress. You need an armory, just so you produce guns on your own. Oh. I didn't realise I hadn't moved you. Oh well, that's alright. Did you just have another population growth? You might have. If so, that's extremely awesome. How long? Seven turns, seven turns, good. Um. Hang on, what? Okay, you have all the guns you need right this second. Has anywhere got only 150? Jamestown needs more guns. <laughs> but they can they can produce their own, so they'll be okay. New London. And you need tools. Well, can you grab tools here for them? You can. Hang on, how many do you need? You need 15. Okay, so if I take... Actually, hang on, don't we have a hardy pioneer? We do have a hardy pioneer here. You, sir. Yes, you. Get in town for a moment. Oh, you don't give extra tools. Right, because I didn't have to equip you. I'm an idiot. No, that's alright. Um, no, we need those there. Do you have tools? You do have tools. You don't need them. Good. You're going to defend. You are going to become a soldier lad. And you are going to go collect tools from here. Gimme. Excellent. And then back over there. So hopefully we've got enough military points to offset grabbing Lafayette. Because we don't want to damage uh, Don Pedro. Or at least being able to get him too much. Because we kind of need him. Alright. Alright. Defend. If 
for everyone else's cool defend. You need to deliver some. Wait. You need to deliver some tools. Is it to here? No, you've got plenty. New London, you're getting some, weren't you? Yeah, that should be enough. You're all good. Oh, I guess you didn't have to deliver tools. Well, game. Alright, we'll just sit there for now. Okay, what have we got that we can load up? More cigars, excellent. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be oh so fun. You constructed a newspaper, good. Construct a cannon if you can. Uh, yeah, fortress for you. Cheers. No. Defend, defend. Right, is there a. Nope. Alright, we'll just sentry. Maybe we'll find somebody to attack. Do you have a fortress or a fort? No, you do have a fortress. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Why are you saying no? Oh, because you need more tools. Alright, well, in that case, build. Hmm. Um, build. Warehouse expansion. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this this might actually end up this might actually end up being okay. We've got a strong position. We do have a strong position. We're at forty nine percent. So I'm gonna load up mmm. No, not yet. Not yet. We need to wait a little bit. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. We need to declare independence at the right time. You constructed a fortress here. What would you like to construct next? Newspaper. Constructed a warehouse expansion. Um. Hmm. military points. I want to see if we can grab... Ooh. We can get Madison. You know what? Yes. Welcome aboard, James Madison. Uh, we might have to wait to get Lafayette in that case. We might not be able to get him for a while. That's okay. We'll continue on. He's added four more units to the Royal Expeditionary Force. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Alright, load up everything that we can possibly sell. You know what? Hell with it. Sell the wood too. Alright, there we go. Sell all of that. And you can head back home try and grab a few more people. You've got two turns until you graduate. What about these fellas? Three turns. Okay, we need to wait three turns before we declare, at minimum. Actually, it might be three anyway to get that, uh, to get that fella back to um, the mother country. No, nothing interesting down here. I don't know what you're talking about. Fort William's running out of storage for guns. Well now, that would be disastrous. So, what we'll do is we will unload you. And you'll go collect guns from Fort William. Game, why are you being so crazy? You'll just sit there. Just in case, because we might need the guns for them. 
But now, everywhere is indeed producing their own guns. It's not heaps and heaps, but it is some. And if we're lucky, we can drive up the tax rate just that little bit more when Lafayette jumps in. If we're lucky. I hope we can get Lafayette. You need to become a... Whoa. Whoa game. Chillax, man. Okay. I'm going to stop and restart the recording, so... Okay, hopefully... Hopefully... That's fixed it. It looks like it has... Not. Alright, well, I'm going to choose to build... A schoolhouse. And then I'm going to restart the program, so I'll do that off-camera, and... I'll make any other decisions and let you know if anything exciting happens. It probably won't. Nothing ever exciting happens. See you in a moment. Okay, so all that actually happened was I uh, armed a soldier who was graduating from the university there, and I told it to build a schoolhouse here. That's essentially exactly what happened. But I might instead go for military points here, because they're producing a fair bit. They're doing okay. Crosses, mm, they're useful, but mm, nah, nah. Okay. So almost everywhere has a fortress. Everything's going okay. Let us. Well, actually, okay. One turn until you get here. Good, 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 good. And turn. Uh, you- oh, right, yes, good, excellent. You guys are going to become soldiers, congratulations. Uh, wait one second while I decide. Actually, we don't even have to clear their speciality, we can just do this. One soldier, two soldier. Now, you're going to go there, and you are going to go there. Mm. You've apparently spotted something, but I don't believe you, you're a liar. Alright, let's see, what's, what, what does this look like? Um, I think, I think now would definitely be the best time to do it, because we actually outnumber him, in terms of regular soldiers, well, militia soldiers, not regulars, we never outnumber him in terms of regulars, I want to wait one turn until this cannon's built though. I want to wait at least one turn. I want to make sure that everywhere has enough guns to actually support its population. You need more. You definitely need more. Do we have anyone sitting around with guns anywhere? Anywhere at all? Nope. Nope. Yes. Excellent. Get up there. You have enough at this present time. Let's see. Where are we on grabbing Lafayette? Almost there. Almost there. How many political points are we generating, I wonder? Okay, so we've got 6,322 right this second. And then next turn, we'll see how many we've got then. We've got everybody that we want from here. Good, good. Everybody that we want from here. We can't get uh, Lewis and Clark offered to us again, so no big deal there. Everybody in here, we've refused these three, so we can't get them again. Cyrus McCormick would have been okay, but John Jay was up there at the time, and we need to, well, we needed to move our political, our political point generation the right way, very quickly. Okay, so we've got the original T-Pain, we've got James Madison, we've got all the important ones. Irving would be okay, Betsy Ross, pfft. And Alexis de Tocqueville is alright, if you've got a lot of universities, but we don't. So really the only two that we want, and we can wait for Don Pedro, is the Marquis de Lafayette and Don Pedro himself. So hopefully we can get him next turn. So we had 6,322. So when we end turn now... Auto-saving? Auto-saving is good. We constructed a cannon. Um, well, we might as well start constructing another one. You never know when you might be able to get it. I know, I know. 
Alright, sit there. You. I wonder, is he actually going to try and declare? He's got 51% too. I wonder if he's going to declare independence. I guess we'll see. So let's see how many points we have now. 7,792. So he needs 11,000. We got an increase of 1,450, I think it was. So 11,000. Uh, 91. Ish. So in three turns, we could grab the Marquis de Lafayette, if my math is right. And math was never my strong point, so I might be completely wrong. You are going to become a soldier. You are going to sit there. How long? Four turns until you grow. Okay. Looks like that is the course we have been set to. Fortress to replace the stockade. Yes. Wait. Is it? No, it is a fortress. Okay. I thought it was a fort for a second. I was going, what? Alright, you need to head back over there. Grab some tools. Send them back. Okay. Fort William might get a population growth pop too. Yes, I'm aware. I'm going to put him out just here, see if we can uh, stop that from happening. I'm wondering if Louis de Frontenac is going to declare, because he probably could. One turn for a population growth pop there. Uh, the king sends his dudes in waves. So conceivably, we could win now, if he sent them in waves that were good for us. How many men have we got there? Fair few. We can add two to each of these stacks. Because we will take all mana free. There's no point taking anything else. Hmm. Alright, let's continue. He added five units. Son of a bitch. <laughs> what did he add? Wow. He's got a lot of warships. Done. Thanks. You've actually just helped me a lot. Alright, so let's see. Yep, next turn we'll grab the Marquis de Lafayette, and I'm pretty sure that that continues to count it. So... Let us grab... Ah! Jamestown! Really? Hell yeah! Congratulations, you're a soldier. Uh, you still didn't see anything. You just got triggered by the wagon train. You're annoying me. Game. Congratulations, you're a soldier. I don't know what it was doing there. It just hiccuped. You need to grab those, then head over there. Alright, so next turn we'll grab Lafayette. You've only got, yeah, you've got two turns until that's done. Good. Okay, next turn is when we declare. Yeah, I know, thanks. Hey Marquis de Lafayette, how you doing? Hooray. Alright, let's have a look at our gun production now. Plus 5 from you guys. Plus 5, plus 5, plus 46. Oh yeah. Plus 18. Plus 5, plus 5. It's so good. I love it. I love it. Port Royal needs a few more um, tools to complete this, but they can complete it. I wonder... Yeah, let's grab a few more guys. Two we'll have to do. Sail home. Uh, in that case... Hmm. How much would it cost to increase that? Done. Want these forts? Done. You require nine tools. 254 gold? Sounds good to me. 700? Sounds good. 3,800. Fuck it. It's not like we're actually going to need the money anymore. We're not training any more people in, um, 
in uh, our towns. So, 89 gold is what we're left with. Wow. Alright, we got one turn until everything else is done, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare independence, and then I'm going to take a break from the recording, and then next time... Well, let's just do this now, because uh, after you start the revolution, he doesn't actually increase how many guys he has, so we'll start the revolution, we'll get all the groundwork done, and then in the next episode, which will probably be the last one, and... Um, if it goes for ages, I'll just make it into a long special episode for you guys. So, vive la revolution! Down with the king. He's a tyrannical son of a bitch. No, pull harder. There you go. Yes, even though we don't actually have 13 states. Appropriate. Cool. So now we get to choose our constitution, and this is awesome. So the deal to uh, these guys was cancelled for defensive pacts, but I'm pretty sure they'll declare war on the king. So all men are free, obvious one, because plus two population means more soldiers. Monarchy for continuing to trade with Europe can be useful, but I'd rather get more points quicker so we can grab everybody that we want. There's not many of them left, but it's more useful than continuing to trade with Europe because the prices are still low and they don't get reset. So elections. We'll go with native rights because this one's really like it it doesn't affect anything. But it might bring the natives in on our side. They probably won't do very much, but it'll bring them in. And theocracy or separation of church and state. Hmm, Liberty Bell is more useful, so we'll go with that. And the right to bear arms. Plus one strength for everyone. Hell yes. Alright. There we go. So the Cherokee have declared war, and the Tupi have declared war on the King of England. Hooray! And now we've got these fellas. So you're going to sit out there, you're going to become a soldier. And so are you. So I'm going to flick through all of our settlements and do this. Soldier. Soldier. New London's probably not going to come under attack, but just in case. Soldier. Soldier. Where did yours go? Oh, they're in there. Not helpful. Soldier. And where's your other one? There he is. Soldier. Perfect. So Plymouth is actually going to have a population pop. Excellent. That'll be great. That should happen before the king gets here with his ruffle stomp stack. Yeah. Ordinarily, I'd be happy to make you guys educated, but it's not really going to happen for this time around. Uh, you need to jump out there. And so do you. Soldier, soldier. Georgetown. Soldier. And soldier. And suddenly our militia force will look a lot more beefy next to the King of England's invasion force. He'll still be very, very strong. His soldiers will still be a lot better. They will. They will. They just will be. It's the way things are. But if we look now, now, let's just fortify everybody up first. Then we'll look. I can change my mind in a minute if I want to. Alright. And done. Garrison, 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 garrison. And same with you lot. There we go. We can also transfer out as many people who actually won't be useful to us as we want to into the Continental Army. So, let's have a look. He's got 29 regulars to our 49 soldiers. 12 regular dragoons to our 1. Yeah, well... Tons of artillery to our cannons, and the artillery is going to be what kills us, if anything does, and that's going to be a problem. But hopefully we'll be able to deal with it. But it's turn 300, 1691 AD, and we have just declared independence on the King of England. He's going to come try to kill us. It's going to happen. 
it's gonna hurt. Let's have a look at how far along we are. So we actually have got a fair few military points. We might even be over the edge for Dom Pedro. And then we'll go into full-scale political point production because we'll want to try and grab... If we grab Irving, that wouldn't be too bad. Don't want you, don't want you. So Washington Irving would be nice if we can get him because he increases Liberty Bell production. In turn, he increases how likely it is that we'll get Dom Pedro very, very quickly. We are going to get Dom Pedro. Louis de Frontenac hadn't declared independence on his king. There's no way we're not going to get Dom Pedro. But I do want to get him as fast as I can because he increases great general emergence. And basically he's just all around fantastic. I might even skip over Irving for him. Because really we need the guy more than we need Irving. So I shall see you guys next time. And until then this is Grey Hunter saying I will see you next time. And vive la revolution. Instead of vive le roi.